Hi, my name is Luis Berrocal, and uh, this is part two of our tutorial on suitability analysis with the RGIS. Today we're going to work on the suitability model. You can follow me at, at Luis C. Berrocal, and my blog is tecnofuenteabierta.blogspot.com. Now what you're going to require for this tutorial is RGIS 10, Arc Editor, Spatial Analyst, Activated, and you'll probably want to take a look at our previous uh, tutorial, at part one. In part one, we already talked about the problem. We want to create a suitability raster for the location of a waste disposal site. This is our proposed suitability equation. We're not going to discuss it because we already talked about it in part one. Today, we're going to concentrate on the suitability model, our, our, our weights and our criteria. Uh, we have chosen three criteria, a slope, uh, land use, and distance to streets. And by distance to street, we mean that the closer a uh, cell is to a street, the more suitable it will be because we want uh, uh, to our, land, our waste disposal site to be accessible uh, through streets. Now, our weights, we chose uh, through heuristic models, these are numbers I chose, you'll probably have to do something a little bit more scientific, but I chose 60% for slope, 25% for land use, and 15% for distance. Our scale is from 1 to 5 in steps of 1. I usually use 1 through 10, but since this is a tutorial, and I wanted to keep, keep it simple, I chose 1 through 5. So. We're going to start working on, on, on our data right, right away. Well, uh, now we, have our, we already have opened our map document. We have our streets, we have our land use, and our slope, which we already calculated. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new model, model here. We're going to name our model. Set of our environment variables. We're going to do raster analysis, processing extent, and workspace. Set up the values. We're going to check that the scratch is correct. We're going to set snap to raster. We're going to make it. We're going to snap our rasters to the DEM, and we want our cell size to be the same as our DEM, which is 90 meters. Apply. I'm going to save. As you can see, as soon as I save, the uh, suitability model is here. Change the name, and we're going to resize this a little so we can see a little bit more. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate uh, the, our street distance, our distance from our streets. For that, we're going to choose here from our spatial analyst tools, distance, Euclidean distance. We're going to drag and drop it here. We're going to double click on the clean distance and we're going to select as input raster our streets, our feature status source. We're going to leave maximum distance uh, blank, so choose all. We're going to, we, don't want the, uh, we don't want the direction raster, so we're going to leave it blank. Give it apply. Click here. We're going to rename this to um, street distance. distance. Click OK here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, reclassify our slope. We we'll probably have to. We will have to reclassify. Classify is under reclass. We're going to reclassify our slope. Double click on it. We're going to select our slope. Now we're going to classify this. Since we already have planned on using only a uh, scale of 5, we're going to keep the classes on 5. We're going to use quantile. And click on OK. 
Okay. And here, since we want our lower values of, of uh, slope to, to be more suitable, we're going to reverse our values. So this means that values between 0 and 3 will have higher uh, suitability values. I'm going to click on Apply. I'm going to rename this to Reclassify Slope. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the Euclidean distance so I'll have the data in order to reclassify so I'll be able to see the graph. Uh, run it. Now I'm going to drag and drop, reclassify again. I'll double click on reclassify and choose uh, street distance. I'm going to reclassify. I'm going to use quantile again. I'm going to keep five classes. Okay. Now here, I want to do the same thing reversing the values because I want the closer the value to have a higher suitability. So I'm going to click here to reverse and now you see the closer you are, the farther you are, the less suitable it is. The closer you are, the more suitable your cell is. I'm going to click on apply. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, use our weighed uh, our weight overlay, which is an overlay. Which here, we're going to use weight overlay. Uh, oh, we're also going to rename this so we we'll have a sensible name. I'm going to rename it to uh, classify three distance. Now, the first thing you got to do with weight overlay is choose your evaluation scale before you start inputting your, your data because if not, then you'll have to start over. You do apply. Now, Let's add our first one, which is which would be our classified uh, slope. Now we want the value as an input field. We'll click OK. And we want to keep we want to keep this because we already did the proper classification when we reclassified. Now we're going to add um, reclassified street distance. Click on OK. Now we're going to add our land use. Click on OK. Now what we have to do with our land use, and I chose the wrong value, so I'll, pro I'll have to select it here and delete it, and then add again our land use. So what I had to choose was category, so I'll be able to know what category I'm assigning, uh, what level. So we want the the categories that are more intervene by man to be more suitable. So for us intervene, I'll probably use uh, three farmland, will probably be four shrubs. I'll probably do a five subsistence farmer, probably be a four two. My true forest will be a 1 because other uses is very broad, so I'll probably use a 3. Wetlands, I'll use a 2. Mangroves, so which is kind of a wetland 2, I'll probably use a 2. Uh, water, which is very expensive to build over it, I'll use a 1. And we're pretty much ready now to do to start our analysis. We need to apply. Oops, I forgot the weights. First thing I have to do here is assign the weights. So I, we already said that our slope would be 60%. So I type here 60%. You notice this thing, this uh, X here. It's because it doesn't add up to 100. It will change in a moment. 
Now our streets, we say we're going to be 15%, and our land use 25. We start here 25, when you see they add up to 100, and the X here dis disappeared. Click on Apply, we're going to do OK. Auto layout, zoom again. And let's rename this to Suitability. Then click on OK. Save our model just in case something goes wrong. And then we're going to run the model. I'm going to add a model to our display and close. Now as you can see, the greener areas are more suitable for, for our land, uh, for a waste disposal site. Uh, we probably should have taken into account uh, the closeness to uh, villages or crowded areas, uh, but our restriction model will probably take care of that. Uh, in our next uh, tutorial, we're going to discuss how to combine them and how to, do, how to find out the, the best, the most suitable of the lots that we acquire. So for this part of the tutorial, that will be it. Uh, thank you very much.